everyone. Welcome to Trust the Profits. Tour de Force. Uh, what week are we in, El Hombre? Let's see. We just co- we're coming off of the two rounds or three rounds. Bluegrass, three Sticks, rounds. Wood Memorial, Santa Anita Derby, which was round 17, 18, and 19 out yes. of 24. So we're down the stretch we come. And Bluegrass, uh, of course. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So we had a lot of action this weekend. We had three rounds that we went through, as El Hombre just said. Um, so it bluegrass, essential quality, and highly motivated, duked it out. Essential quality, won by about a head. Impressive win, impressive run for both horses. Go to the Wood Memorial, shocker. Bourbonic yeah. won 70 something to one. Um, totally ruined everybody's bet, <laughs> except for maybe a, a couple, few lucky few. A couple people. Yeah. A couple people might have. Uh, Who got a second? I don't, even, that. I don't even have it in front of me. Yeah. Another horse that was off of our radar. <laughs> <laughs> and Rock Your World um, won the Santa Anita Derby uh, in front of Medina Spirit, also known as Medina Spirit, as most mm-hmm. people call it from what I hear, and Dream Shake. So with that, how did that shake up our top 10? Did it move at all? Or are we just where we were last time? Of course it moved it. Uh, of course it moved it. That's every, what I want to hear. Every week I'm going to go with the uh, players who just missed 11 through 15. Oh yeah, let's go through those. 11, we had Crime Pays 503, followed by mm. El Guru Hippico. El Hombre 2, Significant Nikki Sam, and Red Knave rounded out the 11 through 15, just missed yeah. the program. Um, yeah, Crime jump. Pays uh, dropped out of the top 10. There's a lot of big scores this week, believe it or not. Uh, yeah. And El Guru actually moved up from 22 to 12, so knocking moves, on the door, yeah. improving. Yeah. I think he well may done. have had the biggest one of the biggest weeks for sure maybe not the biggest week and we'll get to that in a minute spoiler (laughs) alert yeah there there is one person among us who had the biggest week but yeah el el guru definitely had one that puts him in striking distance at the top 10 so well done there should we jump into the top 10 let's do it at number 10 we've got announcer pete friend of the program pete ilo announcer pete is at number 10 uh 1697 is his current point total you want to walk us through that el hombre well he actually hit the big uh he had a 25 dollar win place bet on the wood memorial um he hit the second place horse ah. he didn't hit he didn't hit the winner he hit the place <laughs> which paid 385 so yeah that was a uh that was a nice clean hit yeah um, dynamic one i believe was the yeah, second dy- place. dynamic one exactly so one he of had the two a win, pleasure win place on that and uh, yeah. that was enough to propel him up. He's been flirting in, in and out of the top ten all year. Uh, Pete right. has, yeah, so, pretty good, uh, pretty good showing. Good work pretty there, good showing. yeah. He pulled himself back into the the top ten. Number nine, who do we have? Number nine, someone we know very well, El Hombre Un. El Hombre One has one thousand seven hundred sixty-two dollars to his name. So tell me, El Hombre, how did El Hombre One? Uh, slippery, slippery sloping backwards. I had essential quality uh, for the for the all in jam. Hundred bucks paid one fifty, which is about you know, yeah, expected. Airballed the other two races. No love for EH one. I did better with my other pick, my, <laughs> my other entry, but that entry is yeah. further back. So yeah, El Hombre two moved. Uh, Move down. Uh, I think we're also starting to, th- we're getting to the point now with only a few rounds left, five rounds left where you got to gamble here, boys, or else you're not ever going to catch those top couple couple guys. So Exactly. So uh, once we move up to number eight, now we start to get into the people that are still above what they paid. So these are people who are actually still making money. I think 1900 is the the fictitious spend so far, right? Yeah, true, true. Yep. Vinny Blonde RDP. Dropping down, Vinny. From fourth place into eighth place. This might be the first bad week he's had, to be honest with you. Surprising, too. Surprising. He shipped, he shipped uh, did he go with a triple rainbow? No, it wasn't that bad. No, he, he got, just for him, it was a bad performance. He had a 115 piece. He must have had, a, I think he had On an exact at the bluegrass. Yeah. But no big scores. 2081, 60, eighth place. Yeah. He's been in the top 10, top five most of the year with that entry. Uh, consistently one of the best players in the game who do we have in seventh yeah in seventh place we've got dustin dillon uh 2127 and dustin was previously in eighth place so he's actually moving up one spot to seven 
and I've got them with a 582 piece at, at the Santa Anita Derby. I don't have it in front of me. Again, underprepared, underappreciated this week. That was either an exact or a trifecta hit. <laughs> uh, Dustin's yeah. been consistent all year. He really has. You, see, you look across the board and you see a lot of really good scores from him. You got some some blanks as well, but um, when he scores, he does score pretty well. And by the um, way, when you get to the uh, yeah the eighth, there's a big drop off after eighth, and I'm in ninth with that Lombre one. Yeah, so I'm yeah. from eighth yeah. all the way to the top. I think are the people who have been. Uh, it's it's real tight from especially uh, second through eighth. Yeah, I mean, there's there's really there's really a couple tiers, right? So we're kind of in tier two right now, and tier two is respective. Even though I call it tier two, it is very respective because these are all people who, after 19 races, are still on the plus side overall. So hats off to all of them. All right, right now in sixth we have Hot Walker 55. Hot who, Walker uh, punched up with a huge week last week. Uh, another yeah. good week here. Yeah, sustained his sixth place um, placing. Had a 425 piece at Santa Anita, so did well there. $85. He got a good chunk of his change back at Bluegrass and blanked on the Wood Memorial. Uh, Which no most of no us shame in that. that. <laughs> I think only a couple people didn't blank at the Wood, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Yeah, so Hot Walker, and he's only 50, 50 some ahead of Dustin Dillon. And Dustin Dillon's about 50 ahead of Vinny Blonde. So all these guys are like right within striking distance of each other. All right, who do we have in fifth? We have Peepo. They call her Peepo. It's Peggy Ponch. Who's Peggy P. Yeah, I 200. I'm oh, sorry, 2,487. Go she ahead, Peggy Ponch. She jammed in with a couple. I mean, just did nothing at the wood. Nothing um, at the wood. Santa Anita scored a 794 back with two yeah. different bets. Just shipped it at that race. And that's what it takes at this point. You need to ship something for 500 plus to to make yeah. any noise at this point in the tournament so yeah she had a trifecta and she had a big win bet on rock your world for santa anita but i know yep. she blanked on bluegrass stakes she was one of the people that ended up taking um highly motivated over essential quality going a little bit for the risk hoping to get that reward at the end knowing that if you bet on essential quality you only get like 50 back of uh what you spent so understand okay. the theory there but um didn't pay off, paid off kindly at Santa Anita, almost $800. So she moved, she stayed the same. Uh, there was some movement, but she maintained where she was at fifth place. All right, moving up to fourth. Moving Dropping up to fourth. one position was Danny Agostino, <sighs> who actually shipped a 370 piece. Yeah. And how, how do you make money when the chalk goes heavy at the bluegrass stakes? You put a $100 straight exact bet in <laughs> and uh, hit yeah. that, even though it was a crappy payout. Uh, on the exact at, at uh, Keeneland at the Bluegrass because it was so chalky that the, the top two came as they should have. Yeah. But Augustino it meant he made money in, this week, right? Augustino goes in and ships the full 100 on a straight exact event in that respectable play. Airballed the other Hold two on. races. Uh, dropped a spot. And you're going to see why here in a minute. Third place. <laughs> who, who landed in third this week? Because now yeah, we're getting so, into the, the players that are above 3000 bucks. Yeah, so ju just a skosh above. 3,000 and moving down from second is Vinnie Blonde RDP2. So 3,009 and 60 cents change. Vinnie Blonde RDP2. Um, I, I I wouldn't call an air ball across the board, uh, but he only made $69 and it was at the Bluegrass Stakes. Everything else was, was wiped clean, so he did take a loss this week, but still in the top three, still very respectable. Number two is where the bombs are going to start going off. You're going to see firework displays go in. You're going to see, uh, I don't know, caution symbols, hazardous materials. Yeah. Our highest riser of the week. All, the way, down from, all the way down from 20 up to number two. The producer. What can How you say about the producer? Three thousand two hundred dollars before this week. If I, if I do the math properly, I think he was down around a thousand, right? Yeah, I, yeah, exactly, right around a <laughs> thousand. And how do you do that? How do you do it? How do you do you it? You go to the Wood Memorial. You go to the Wood, and you have a hundred seventy-three to one, or whatever that horse was. Went off. A seventy-three to one. Yeah. Bourbonic plague goes off. 
And you love the name Bourbon, and you're like, why not? And he ships a $30 win bet on a horse that nobody else even looked at, which pays out $21.97.50 for a single bet. This this is a harkens back to the Hensing $4,000 hit or whatever he hit all at once. I mean, this is the second yeah. biggest hit of the whole year. Congrats to the producer. Pulls himself right into respectability with one hit. Like you said before this, mid-pack, around 1000 bucks. Yeah. And now that's all it takes. You get get one hit like that, and look at—he he jumps to second. Uh, Make, and now has that, a legit with only five rounds left. Makes that Peggy Punch eight hundred piece this week look really small, doesn't it? Yeah, that one fifty uh, essential quality hit that I had was. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you might as well just burn that ticket. Yeah. So that was the oh. producer. Um, number one, still number one. No shocker there, but now he's got someone nipping at his heels a little bit closer but still 2000 off number one is matt hensing maddie 5217 maddie h and matt hensing has started to play what i would call a little bit of, of softball which is exactly what i would do in that situation yep. which is knuckleball protection league protection league so yeah. good work uh, look we got, we've had two or three major shockers this, this season. Uh, it's yeah. been fun. We are now at, what did I say, 19 rounds are in the books. Five to 19. go, including the, the Triple Crown is the last three, obviously. Two this coming weekend, and that's it. Two this weekend. So, if you're planning on moving into the top five, which are the payouts, yeah, you better ship a uh, uh, ship a major here. Or start, <laughs> maybe you better start shooting at one of those um, toilets that we rode off earlier in the Arkansas Derby and uh, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Good luck to everybody. Anything else um, other than the fact that I was at Keenan this past weekend and ran into a couple of these people, it was, which was really good. I won't. Bring Who'd up you any run names. into? Let's. I'm name not going to bring up. Nah. No. Okay. Not, okay. I, I ran into Brad Cox and talked to him for about three seconds, which I was going to lie and pretend like it was a bigger deal sarcastically, of course, because I would never <laughs> BS the uh, group here, but yeah, I did get a fist bump and a congrats in with B, B. Cox, which was cool. Stood wow, with, well done. Stood with uh, Essential Quality. It was cool, man. It was a really good experience. Very accessible. I was surprised at how accessible everything was because it, the crowd was pretty limited because of COVID, so. Yeah. Yeah. It was fun, man. Awesome, awesome time, and um, Everybody should try to go make that out to an event like that as soon as they can. I mean, yeah, absolutely. It was def- definitely worth the trip for me. So cool. All right, man. Good it's luck to everybody in the last yep. five rounds. Five rounds. That's it, man. Good luck to everybody else. Good luck, man. And All to right. myself because I suck lately, but peace. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. Thank subscribe. you. Yep. See you. Peace. <laughs>